Hello there, kitties. I'm Gary, the vacuum tube witch. With the... Rattlecaster. And the Sohor DRX85 uh, reverberation unit. It's indeed a digital delay. Let's check the delayed sound on the, on this thing. Maybe I should use a strap for the guitar. <laughs> I could use some more dexterity. Let's, let's, oh, come on for crying out loud. Let's get a move on with this thing. It's cracking very badly. like the tap sensor on this thing. Pretty prone to accidental activation. Switch is also cracking. <laughs> then the echo slash reverb switch and also give you some love. So this little digital delay is up for recombobulation. Let's get a move on with this thing. So this is the temporary vacuum tube uh, power amplifier that I'm using for for testing this uh, reverberation unit. have here on the front panel. The input section, the effect loop section, the delay time controls with a multiplier and the effect duration, the filter control and, uh, and repetitions and uh, echo slash reverb. Let's open this thing and get inside. Uh, 
It's definitely in for cleaning the potentiometers. And uh, what can I tell you about this unit? I got it from the campus radio when, where I volunteered, but back in 2000, the Studenckie Radio Jacques Polytechniki Łódzkiej. It was a, a vintage uh, device made uh, by uh, Andrzej Sochor. He was an uh, electronic engineer and entrepreneur in my city. We've got all old phenolic uh, PCBs. And then the grounding on the on the signal PCB doesn't look very well. <laughs> <coughs> A sign of those times. So it will be kind uh, difficult to get into. Get into the potentiometers uh, underside where I need to get uh, in order to squirt some PCB cleaning agent. And uh, there's one more problem with this unit: the power transformer. It uh, it hums and buzzes uh, like. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an uh, obscene amount of uh, hum and buzz. Not sure if I can do anything about it now. Maybe placing this transformer or s on some rubber insulation or, or or some other dampening material could help. Uh, by the way, there's one more. There's one more thing that uh, worries me quite a lot. Like this transformer sticks out so much that um, the contacts uh, they make uh, contact with uh, an uh, fortunately insulated. Uh, part of um, the top cover but it should have been um, designed uh, way better than it is maybe using a uh, toroidal transformer would be a nice upgrade for this unit anyway let's use some uh, contact uh, on uh, on the sockets and uh, and on the switches and on the pots. Contact sixty. That's what I use for the for the sockets and switches. Now it's spraying all over the place. <laughs> I 
Might also be a good idea to replace the electrolytic caps. And check this fuse one moment, please. Uh, is it still good or is it... Yeah, still good. Okay, time to do the pots. Time to do the pots. Hmm? And uh, back to Andrzej Sohor. There's one more interesting story with him that uh, he is a neighbor the, to someone who was uh, was my uh, friend uh, back in 2000s. Someone named uh, Piotr Stanisz uh, of the Black Dog Amplification, the once, uh, once pretty famous uh, company in, in Łódź that uh, made uh, boutique uh, guitar amplifiers. <laughs> and it turned out that uh, Andrzej Socher lived uh, in the in the same tenement in the same uh, staircase <laughs> like uh, one or two floors above <laughs> i never met that guy unfortunately not sure even if he's still alive once i uh, tried to visit the, the company but uh, it turned out that uh, they went into precision mechanics and uh, they stopped doing electronics. They went into precision mechanical stuff. Still engineering, still fine in my book, but uh, not the kind of engineering that, um, that I'm very much into. Ah, although, <laughs> you know... Uh, Having done the monotype stuff, um, I also appreciate that. Anyway, uh, gotta figure out a way to get into the potentiometers. <laughs> uh, where's the potentiometer cleaning agent? I think I will have to make a curvy end and i think i know how to do that and again one moment please it will involve dangerous stuff If it involves dangerous stuff, then I'm older. And what I'm planning to do is first preparing a few centimeters of copper wire. Putting it into into the plastic tube bending it a little bit backwards and using a gas uh, soldering iron with uh, a uh, hot air blowing blowing nozzle I will try to make the hmm, looks like I'm running out of gas in this siren but I think I will manage I will try to Form a new shape uh, of the plastic. Yeah, 
Yeah, I ran out of gas. I guess I will have to refuel this. Not a problem. Ah, Clive, where's the woofler? Oh, come on, for crying out loud. Throwing a hissy fit at me? How come? Maybe if I use an adapter? I guess that's way better. I guess. None of that gaslighting rubbish. That's way, way, way better. Yeah, that's gonna be a Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> and let it cool down just a little bit. Yeah, now, 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 it's pretty cool. And then I can pull out the copper wire. And... See how nice. <laughs> Bend back. Bend back very nicely. And now I am able to access. Uh, let me zoom on in uh, to show you what exactly I am doing here. Mm, I could also use something to hold the device uh, when I'm uh, injecting the, the, the cleaning agent, but uh, I can freely access uh, the potentiometers uh, on the panel without having to discombobulate the whole device. And that's gonna f turn it into a thing of beauty and a joy forever. Every one of those potentiometers has to be cleaned. And then I will use some compressed air to blow out the leftover chemicals. Both, uh, I think I'm gonna use both uh, compressed air and uh, some isopropyl alcohol. So that would be one uh, Caritech uh, surface tip uh, about uh, cleaning the um, difficult to access uh, potentiometers. How you can do it painlessly without having to take the whole device apart. And of course, uh, when cleaning the potentiometers, give them uh, a fair number of turns. I guess that those uh, capacitors, uh, they also would be good to go. <laughs> like the, the unit is not humming all that much, but uh, even though 
even though it isn't, uh, those uh, those Alva capacitors, uh, they work pretty crappy. and blow it with some compressed air. Hmm. Might be better off with some isopropyl alcohol and a brush. I also wonder why this PCB with um, with some uh, DTL integrated circuits is made of uh, different uh, material with a uh, supposedly FR4 substrate uh, compared to the phenolic um, signal and uh, power supply boards. Like, uh, why couldn't they make everything out of uh, the FR4? Why even uh, go into phenolic in the first place? By the way, if you noticed uh, the main uh, filter cap, 1986, it's as old as I am. The remaining caps there. Mm, 1983. So, if this is original, then uh, the unit was made in the late uh, 1980s. Almost as old as, uh, as Floodland by the Sisters of Mercy. Yeah, and now, now I think I could blow some air on it and the isopropyl alcohol will evaporate. Almost lost all the pressure in the compressor. And some some oil residue from contact sixty or PR I can wipe off with some cloth. And it might be 
time to try firing it up again. Then the power amplifier. The output is here. The power amplifier is on. The sucker is on. And time for the X. This is the instrument input. Uh, let's zoom out. The tubes should now be hot. Dead silent! <laughs> no cracking whatsoever! some problems with the digital circuitry it might be because of might be because of uh, the grease on the on the digital board <laughs> so it's like I just swapped one problem out for another one like the the analog uh, the analog part uh, took uh, I took care of it pretty well. I got some problem with the digital circuitry, but I will take care in, of it real soon. See you next time. We're gonna move on with building the dirty dozen amp. <laughs>